The fourth of the Fatui Harbingers, a formidable Snezhnayan diplomat and a ruthless assassin. This is the most you can hope to glean about Arlecchino if you know the right people to ask. But if you go one step further and gain the acceptance of a certain group of children, you'll learn about her most important identity of all, a father. This will be a productive partnership, I hope. As an intelligence operative, Arlecchino prefers more covert means of attack. But don't expect her to shy away from unleashing her raging flames in broad daylight if the situation calls for it. Arlecchino's normal attack can combo up to six spear strikes, dealing physical damage to enemies. Her charged attack consumes a fixed amount of stamina to dash toward an enemy and deliver a single slash. Continue holding the attack button, and she moves rapidly for a short period at the cost of further stamina. With her elemental skill, Arlecchino commands Bale Moon Bloodfire to deal pyro damage to nearby enemies. She then charges at one of them and delivers a further slash, dealing AoE pyro damage. Enemies struck by her elemental skill will receive a blood debt directive for a set period. Blood debt directive deals up to two rounds of pyro damage at set intervals. The damage dealt is considered elemental skill damage. Using her charged attack or elemental burst causes Arlecchino to absorb and clear nearby blood debt directives. Each directive absorbed grants her a bond of life worth a percentage of her max HP. There is a limit to the total bond of life that can be gained in this way. If her elemental skill is used again within a certain time, the directive's duration is recalculated, as is the maximum bond of life that they can confirm. The Crimson Moon bloodline etched into Arlecchino's life brings her pain, but also power. When her bond of life is greater than or equal to a certain percentage of her HP, she enters the Mask of the Red Death State, converting her normal, charged, and plunging attack damage into pyro damage that cannot be overridden. While in this state, when Arlecchino's normal attack hits an enemy, the damage dealt is increased by an amount based on her attack and her current bond of life percentage. A portion of her bond of life is then consumed. Consuming bond of life in this way shortens the cooldown of her elemental skill, all is ash. After unlocking the talent, Agony alone may be repaid. When Arlecchino's elemental skill applies a Blood Debt Directive to an enemy, it is upgraded after a period of time to Blood Debt Dew, which grants her more Bond of Life when absorbed. Additionally, defeating enemies with Blood Debt Directives will grant her a large amount of Bond of Life. There is a limit to the total Bond of Life that can be gained in this way. This is where you fall. Arlecchino's elemental burst unleashes wings of Bale Moon Bloodfire, dealing AoE pyro damage, clearing her elemental skills cooldown, and restoring her HP based on her attack and her bond of life value. Due to her passive talent, the Bale Moon alone may know. While in combat, Arlecchino gains a pyro damage bonus and can heal only by using her elemental burst, Bale Moon Rising. When HP is low, she can unleash her elemental burst against a group of enemies to deal pyro damage, clear the cooldown on her elemental skill, and recover HP. She is a father children can depend on. The family exists thanks to her. After unlocking the passive talent Strength Alone Can Defend, all elemental and physical resistance is increased for Arlecchino, based on the amount of attack she has beyond a certain value. There is a limit to the increase that can be gained in this way. The seat of Fourth Harbinger honors Arlecchino's past achievements and serves as clear confirmation of her combat prowess. With mastery of the Bond of Life, the bloodthirsty flame she wields is a foreboding sight to her foes. She starts the battle by using her elemental skill to apply blood debt directives to enemies. 
At an opportune moment, she uses a charged attack to absorb the directives, gaining Bond of Life and entering the Mask of the Red Death State, in which she dishes out pyro damage with her enhanced normal attack. When energy is full, she uses her elemental burst to deal pyro damage to enemies, while healing herself and also clearing her elemental skill cooldown. Then she goes on a final offensive streak, turning her foes to ash by the searing light of the blood red moon. Neither a dark sun nor a red moon is seen as a good omen by this world's standards. Things certainly did not end well for the dynasties that took them as their respective emblems. So when someone has a recurring dream featuring the sight of a crimson moon, she should beware. In my long journey, I have seen many fight to defy fate. Arlecchino is one of them. And she seems to have succeeded. The fiery blood that corrodes her flesh has eaten away, too, at the shackles that once bound her. When a blood-red moon shines down from above, some see the face of death, while others see the roof over their heads. <laughs>